Ghostbusters Afterlife Domestic Box Office equals 2016 movie. Yes. You're, you're probably thinking right now, well, that doesn't sound that impressive, but it is. Let me read. Yeah. Just ahead of its arrival on physical home media, Ghostbusters Afterlife has equaled the domestic box office result of uh, Paul Feig's much maligned Ghostbusters Answer the Call and is only around 30 million short of the worldwide takings of the 2016 movie, despite being released in the current pandemic conditions yep. that have seen so many movies struggle to break even in their theatrical runs. With the movie now available in digital HD and coming to Blu-ray and DVD, both as an individual title and as part of a new Ghostbusters box set filled with never-before-seen extras from the original 1984 movie and its 1989 sequel, there is no doubt about the success of the franchise return to Bill Murray, Dan Aykroyd, Ernie Hudson, and the original as, as the original Ghostbusters lineup. Uh, with while in ordinary circumstances, a worldwide box office of just under 200 billion would be nothing to shout about. That kind of box office result is enough to secure a place as one of the biggest movies of 2021. And Ghostbusters Afterlife managed to not only do it against all odds, but also did it on roughly half the budget of Feig's female-led outing, meaning that it not only reinvigorated the franchise with a group of new characters, but also scratched a 30-year itch to see the original gang busting ghosts yep. once more on screen. And it says, full of Easter egg shared story points, and even using some of the original effects from 1984's Ghostbusters, fans were more than happy with the legacy sequel, even if some critics were quick to call it out the fan service of it all. Yeah, we've heard that. Yeah. In the end, the fans in the end, the fans spoke out, and it looks like, it, and it looks like in a time when people were just looking for something familiar, something old and new at the same time, and something they could just lose themselves to the nostalgia with Ghostbusters Afterlife was the perfect movie arriving at the perfect time. I couldn't say it better myself. So there's a couple things I want to say about that. First, we got to get past this idea that fan service is some sort of a dirty word. Fan service is exactly what you want if you want to freaking make money. Okay? And if you're making a movie, you want to make money. That's just the way it is. We'll be talking about that more in, 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 in uh, some other, other pieces we'll be talking about. But by and large, uh, movie companies want to make money. They want the fans to come. They want them to spend money. That's why you give them fan service. You know, people aren't paying for, 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 for dog droppings. They are, they are paying for what they want, you know. So we all need to get past that. Secondly... I think that uh, just break, just getting even with 2016 is a huge victory when you consider that the legacy of Ghostbusters 2016 has been an anchor around the ankle of the Ghostbusters franchise. They were operating at a disadvantage because there were a lot of fans that didn't want to go see it because they were already turned off from the franchise by 2016. And it took a long, it took weeks and weeks of people saying, wow, this is great. This is awesome. This is return to form. This is the sequel we've been waiting for. It honors everything that went before for people to start going, okay, yeah, maybe I'll go check that out. You know, it took, it took, it took this long for it to, to get up and running. So that's the second point I wanted to make. Third point is what I've been saying all along. What isn't taken into account here is all the money they made off of marketing before they even got to the theater. Okay. So we saw many, many months of it constantly being put off because of the coof. Right. But there was constant sales of toys you know, Hasbro with their Neutrona wand and then the, the HasLab for the, the Proton Pack, the release of all the toys, you know, all the, the re-release of the, the, the real Ghostbusters, the real Ghostbusters style uh, figures using the, the actual movie characters. Mm -hmm. I mean, there's been a lot of money being made on Ghostbusters. Uh, this past year, year and a half. It's been crazy. I wish we could see those numbers. I'll bet you those numbers 
those marketing dollars outstrip what they've made just at the theater. You know, plus, as you point out, the DVDs and HDs and Blu-rays are coming out. Yeah. Uh, they have they have broken records with pre-sales on those and have had to go into, you know, a, a new batch of them. So that's that's huge sales, huge sales. And yes, it does mean we're getting a sequel, guys. I'm 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 calling it right now. There's been mumblings and grumblings behind the scenes and speculation. You better damn well believe it's happening. They've made too much money for them to not. And what hasn't been said here is yes, they haven't quite made as much internationally as 2016, but there are still some some markets that haven't opened up overseas yet this hasn't been released everywhere yet so it's still making money overseas let's watch what happens you know speaking about sequel the article does go on to speculate about that too well we're going to go to read from that as well uh because go as, as ghostbusters afterlife sets up a sequel but will we ever get it now well, there were some things that happened uh it says here the post credit scene of Ghostbusters Afterlife does all that it can to set up a sequel with Ernie Hudson's Winston Zedmore purchasing the old firehouse and returning there with Ecto-1 in tow, stating that he will always be a Ghostbusters, which down in the basement uh, which down in the basement the containment unit uh, flashes ominously. The question is given the age of the original stars and the time it would take to write and set up a new movie, how likely is it that we will see the return of Hudson and company again? Director Jason Reitman has made it clear he would love to continue the franchise, having taken over directing duties from his father, Ivan Reitman, who was responsible for the first two movies and acted as producer on Ghostbusters Afterlife. And already Hudson has expressed his interest in returning again in a mentor role for a new generation of Ghostbusters. Hopefully, they both get what they want, as Ghostbusters Afterlife has proven that even after three decades, there are still a lot of people out there who just want to see more from the world of Ghostbusters. So, yeah. I think and, we're going to get a sequel. And I think you could, yeah, you could definitely get Ernie Hudson back, and his character has definitely been set up to be in a role uh, going forward. Um, I think you could probably get Dan Aykroyd again, too. He might have a smaller role, a somewhat advisory, you know, he's focusing on his bookstore now, but he's got, you know, access to Tobin's Spirit Guide and all that information. He's the go-to guy. He'd be like the, uh, I don't know, the, uh, the the librarian that you go to to get, you know, some, some information before you go out and fight the bad guys, right? Um, and if Bill Murray, who you can probably not count on to get back, his character is not so integral that you have to bring him back. If it's like, you know, he's retired from ghost busting, you know, that's fine. He's you could just have him in a five minute scene of like, Oh, here should be your ad campaign for your, or doing a commercial. You, don't, you wouldn't even have to have him. In oh, that would be nice yeah. if they could, yeah. but if not, yeah. they could just, they, they don't even have to have him physically in it and just say, you know, we got a suggestion from, from Venkman about what to put in the commercial. Yep. Or something like that. So yeah. I don't know. I'm thinking. Uh, uh, I'm keep my fingers crossed on the future of Ghostbusters. I think it's off to a great start, and I hope to see more from it. But we'll see. It's a good. Yeah, it's it's right. doing well. It's doing well. This is a uh, this is a uh, another example of a victory. 